In the sports news, world record holder Eliud Kipchoge has positively accepted defeat after finishing this year's London Marathon race in the eighth position. Ethiopia's Ashura Kitata clinched the 2020 title after completing the 42-kilometer event in two hours, five minutes and 41 seconds. Is Kip Chumba. Will it be an Ethiopian or a Kenyan on top of the podium? If it's a Kenyan, it's... Eliud Kipchoge has said that his ear blocked after 25 kilometers disrupting his concentration, but accepted the defeat hoping for a brighter performance next year in the Tokyo Olympics. Kipchoge... When the taller figure from Kenya went past him, you thought it was a definitive strike, but the tiny Ethiopian was not to be beaten. And today... It was Elliot Kipchoge's turn to find out that it doesn't always go according to plan in the marathon. That cool, I was in a good mood. I, all my dreams has been well, but uh, that started in now. I did the condition. Uh, I, I, I don't blame the conditions, but uh, I think it's good to blame what uh, the problem with the hair. In the women's competition, world marathon record holder Bridget Kosgei successfully retained her London marathon. Kosgei clocked 2 hours, 18 minutes and 58 seconds, beating United States Sarah Hall and world marathon champion Ruth Chapangetich. Again, Eliud Kipchoge remains the champion because his record has not been broken. So we have everything to celebrate as Kenya today. Very, very proud of Bridget Koske for winning and uh, uh, becoming uh, the champion today. And uh, we also are very, very proud of Ruth Chetnetich for being uh, number three. Whenever everything happens, there are always lessons learned. Today, Eliud Kipchoge did not come out number one as was all our expectation. What do we learn? In life, there are those moments that you shine and there are those moments that things don't happen the way you expect them. And this is one of the situations whereby things don't happen the way we expected them. And this, to me, is a learning experience and I use it as an opportunity to challenge. All cheered our fellow Kenyan towards the finish line and now I want to put to us a challenge that uh, it is possible that we can document all our heroes through film so that we keep this for posterity. Meanwhile, Athletics fanatics have expressed their mixed reactions following the outcome of a major international event. Frederick Muki for Channel One Sports. Team Kenya always making us proud out there. Of course, all the best to all Kenyan participants.